Now, all right, now that's who it's from. To God's holy people in Ephesus. The faithful, ha, my Lord, the faithful. We got 10 minutes. To God's holy people in Ephesus, the faithful in Christ Jesus. All right, let, let me just look here. Let get this now. Let me help you get this part. I'm up helping you. Look here. Everybody don't have no angel. That's just a TV show. You know, people say, I have an angel. You do not have no angel, man. Mm, you might have a demon. You do not have an angel. Only God's people have angels. We are all... That has a withered hand. I'm subject to the FBI if we're wrong, but there's only one group that's subject to the FBI when they write. That's the, that's the president and his family. The Secret Service is going to protect them. They are assigned to them. The angels are assigned to God's believer. This letter is not for everybody. There's a bounty for blessing. It's not for everybody. Listen, there are many of us in the body, in the natural, who have been excluded. Some of the greatest institutions in this world that allow your children to have the assurance of a high paying job, they've been set aside for the few. The individuals who can pay such a high price. You know, we talk about scholarships and things of that nature, but do you know the entire school is not on scholarship? <laughs> There's a whole lot of folks just paying the bill, paying the bill, paying the bill. And so it's a handful of people who cannot pay the bill, who want to be included, so they have these small percentage of slots available that are available through scholarship to help the less fortunate who can't pay their own way to be included in this possibility. So in life, we can identify with being excluded sometimes. That's a great party that Beyonce may have and she didn't invite us. <laughs> that was a great party that somebody's going to have in the locker room when, when either the Warriors win or the Cl Cleveland Cavaliers win, but we probably won't be invited. I want you to know that it's a private party. Yeah, y'all remember that old song? It's a private party. No, and you know you know what I'm trying to say. This is a private party. Members only. <laughs> yeah, this is a private party. Members only to the believers. Try to go into the YMCA. Young Men Christian Association. Okay, go in there without a pass. <laughs> go in there without paying your, your tuition. You're going to see the Young Men Christian Association walk you right out the door. To God's holy people. In Ephesus, only God can make you holy. Only God can make you holy. That's the election. That's the grace. See, this, this, man, I hope I'm blessing you. Yes, sir. This book I don't have much to do with you. <laughs> this talks about and explains to us in a way that we can wrap our minds around what God has been doing all this time on your behalf. To God's holy people. Well, who makes you holy? God himself. He makes you holy. Christ, remember that Christ, is him who makes you holy. It is your embracing Jesus Christ as the fulfillment of the redemption of God, as the atonement of God, as the perpetuation of on behalf of God. So we see that when you partake of Christ, kind of like an aspirin, you, you digest it into your being and it is, it is argued that the headache will go away. 
the headache of sin, the headache of being separated from an e awesome eternal God goes away when we consume Jesus Christ. Holy means to be set apart. It doesn't mean to walk over there and go apart. Oh, I hope I'm helping somebody. See, you have been adopted in the kingdom of God. Watch this now. Oh, Lord. Y'all might shout if you get this one. You might shout. Let me see who's going to shout. Adoption in the natural. Man. That's company. Talks about bringing a foreigner into your family and giving them the benefits of being a family member. Man, that's pretty good, huh? That ain't what it means biblically. It's deeper than that. Biblically, adoption says you are a son, an immature son. You are a child in this family. But I'm going to adopt, I'm going to bestow upon you all rights and privileges as a mature adult with all blessings to the kingdom. That's how a three-year-old can become king. You ain't even old enough to be the king. Yeah, but I'm adopted in this thing. God has, has, has matured me in my immaturity. I am matured with every spiritual blessing from on high. I'm talking about you adopted man. You got to preach that one this week. Man, you got to tell somebody you are adopted in the kingdom of God. When you are a believer, God moves you and to set you apart with all the mature walk around there. And you're just a little boy there trying to learn. But he gives you all the blessings of the mature. We are adopted. You we got to get this, y'all. See, uh, uh, Reverend, when I get right, I'm going to come to church. When you get right, well, it ain't going to happen. I ain't even going to say you don't see. You are never going to get right. But you could be made right. Oh, Lord, somebody. <laughs> Yo, that's what he do. See, he make us right. And then he showers all of the blessing on us right now. Yes, Come on, somebody. You got to know you've been adopted. See, when you know you've been adopted, you're going to behave differently. See, see, in our theology, we know that God has blessed us with spiritual blessings. So we clap hands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's given us the kingdom, you know. And one day I'm going to get it. One day, one day, one day I'm going to walk in the blessings of God. Now, today. Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things not seen. Not tomorrow. Now. Try to catch this man to God's holy people. They're, they're adopted folk, man. Them holy folk, separated. Hey, I got to get out of here. I got to get out of here. I, I, am I helping you a little bit? Just a little bit. I just, if I just help you a little bit, it was worth it. You know what I'm saying, Jamal? If you got a little bit more in your step, man, it's worth that little meal I missed today. It's worth it, man. You got to just look, just, you ain't got to run, you just got to bounce or something. And, and if this lesson lets you just bounce or something, boy, it was worth it. Yeah. If I don't get a chance to do this ever again, if you just catch this one, David Yarn, it's going to set up the rest of your life. If you could understand today that you have been adopted, a little old boy. Amen. You ever, you ever hear what I'm saying? I've seen these three children move in ways that men couldn't move. These three right here. I've seen them give them a microphone. Hey, they don't know I'm going to call on them. Hey, come on up here and pray. Put a microphone in hand. We all stand. <laughs> See, God, I'm going to tell you to set you apart. Seen them. Uh, we ask questions. Somebody tell me what the lesson about. Uh, the other, oh, uh, we, Reverend, you said something good. Good. It was so good. Right? I couldn't even put it together. Yeah, those children, they break it down for you again. Peculiar. 
Right now, I got them taking notes. Peculiar, set apart to God's holy people in Ephesus. That's just in the earthen realm. God's people in Houston, earth and around. This, now every book is not universal. Every letter is not for you today. So when you leave here today, you might read something real fancy on the internet or your cousin or uncle or somebody gonna, 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 gonna tell you up on this and say, man, who is it to? It's to Ephesus. Well, it's, it's general because it's to the believers in Ephesus. Ephesus is not the emphasis right now. It's not to address what's going on in Ephesus. It's not to address a, a, a schism. It is designed to tell Ephesus who they are in God as believers. If that was ever a universal letter, this is it. Man, you better get this. If that was ever a universal letter. To God's holy people in Ephesus, the faithful in Christ Jesus. Faithful.